Hi, welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. I'm Vivian and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here at the Peak Lab. In this video, I'll be analyzing a past year examination question on the topic of plant cycle. I have also prepared this question for you to download for free by clicking on the link in the description box below. So let's get started. Question 17. Maria wanted to investigate the gaseous exchange of different living things, so she set up the experiment as shown below. Both tanks Q and R were identical in size and were covered with black paper. Maria carried out the experiment over a day. She added in the same amount of indicator, which detects the amount of carbon dioxide in the container. The table below shows the color change of the indicator according to the amount of carbon dioxide detected. Now the question is asking us, which of the following would be Maria's observation of the indicator the next day? So, if we were to look at the diagram, we know that both setups are covered with black paper. Let us take a look at setup Q first. Here, we see that it contains a plant. Since the tank is covered with black paper, how do you think the plant is affected? Is there something that it is unable to obtain? It is unable to obtain light because black paper is opaque and does not allow light to pass through. Now, which plant process do you think of when we talk about light? Photosynthesis. Hence, if the plant is not exposed to light, can photosynthesis take place? No, as the plant needs to trap light for photosynthesis, it is unable to carry out the process. Instead, what process is the plant carrying out? It is respiration. So let us write this down. For the process of respiration, which gas is taken in by the plant? Oxygen. And which gas is then given out? It is carbon dioxide. Now, let us take a look at setup R. Similarly, the tank is covered with black paper. How does this then affect the worms in the tank? Do the worms need light to carry out any processes? No. Hence, what process do you think the worms are carrying out? It is respiration. So let us write this down as well. Which gas is taken in by the worm during respiration? It is oxygen. And which gas is then given out by the worms? Carbon dioxide. Now, let us take a look at the table below. At the start of the experiment, the indicator used was red in colour. However, it changes colour according to the amount of carbon dioxide it detects. Since both the plant and worm is carrying out respiration, where it releases carbon dioxide. What can we say about the amount of carbon dioxide in both tanks? Is it less than normal? Normal? or more than normal. In this case, it will be more than normal. Hence, the indicator in both tanks should turn yellow. And with that, our answer is 2. Thank you for watching and I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to check out more videos by us, do click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye!